Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install mods in Minecraft 1.17.1. We're going to be going over every single step of getting fabric mods, from downloading it to installing it, to even getting a few specific fabric mods and getting those installed. I'm also going to be talking about the fabric API, which is something that you need for a lot of fabric mods that are out there. So we're going to be going over all of these steps in this video. First and foremost though, check out the first link in the description down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash apex to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually love and trust apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex, the first link down below. The breakdown.xyz slash Apex to set up your own server running Fabric quickly and easily. Nevertheless, though, you're out here to get a Fabric server. You're here to get Fabric mods, so let's go ahead and do that. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is the Fabric Launcher download page. Now, we may go ahead and make an article on this, and if we do, just go ahead and click the green download button on the page that this link takes you to. But for now, it takes you directly to the download page for the Minecraft launcher. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on the universal.jar, the download installer universal.jar here. When you click on that, it's going to go ahead and download it automatically in the bottom left. As you can see, it says fabric installer, so you're going to go ahead and keep it in the bottom left. It may need to be saved in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. If that's the case, just save it in the center of your screen and you'll be good to go. Now from there, we can go ahead and move on to the fabric API. Now this is the API mod that a lot of fabric mods need. By all means, not all fabric mods, but as a general rule of thumb for me, I always like to install the fabric API when I install any fabric mods. You can find this at the third link down below. It's going to take you here where you want to scroll down and go on the orange or yellow download fabric API button. That takes you to the fabric API download page. We want to come over here to the right hand side, scroll down until you see recent files, and then under that you'll see Minecraft 1.17. And then under that you'll see 1.17.1 fabric API. Go ahead and click the orange download button to the right of that, and fabric will go ahead and start downloading exactly like so. We're going to download a few different mods here, and the process is going to be the same as this actually, but I'm going to go over them nevertheless. In the bottom left down here, we do have the Fabric API. We'll need to keep the file. You may need to save the file on your save your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now, the three mods we're going to be installing is Xero's Minimap, Better Nether, and the Inventory HUD. So Xero's Minimap is here, really cool Minecraft Minimap mod. Once you're at this link, again in the description down below, all the mods linked here are in the description down below. Scroll down until you see the Download Minecraft Minimap button, or Xero's Minimap button. That will take you here, where again on the right hand side you want to scroll down until you find the Fabric 1.17.1 version. Now, notice I said the Fabric 1.17.1 version. If you see both a Forge version and a Fabric version of a mod, like in 1.16, there is a Forge version and a Fabric version, you want to go ahead and make sure you're downloading the Fabric version if you want to install the Fabric version of the mod, and you will need to do that if you're watching this video. So to do that, as you can see, it says Fabric 1.17.1. If you have Forge as well, click on 1.17.1 Fabric. Then click on the blue download button to the right of that, and the download will begin after a few seconds. Same thing of keeping and saving the file as you're used to, it's just making sure you're getting the Fabric version of the mod, not a forge version. Keeping the bottom left, save it in the center of your screen. Barrier Nether is a really cool mod that adds in a few different plants and different things like that into the Nether, including a few more biomes. And the Nether was made really, really good in 16 anyway, but this really takes it up even another level. So once you're here, again, linked in the description down below. Again, come over to the right-hand side, scroll down until you see Better Nether, and then we want to make sure that this is 1.17.1. Now, this is 1.17 slash 1.17.1. That's the same as well. A lot of 1.17 fabric mods do work in 1.17.1. Click the orange download button to the right of that, and the download will begin after a few seconds, just like we got used to with the Xero's Minimap mod. Go ahead and keep it in the bottom left. Save it on Google Chrome. Last but not least, we have Inventory Hub Plus, and you know the drill this time. Go over here to the right hand side, scroll down, make sure you're downloading the Fabric version of the mod, not the Forge version, the Fabric version, and then click the orange download button next to it. Again, wait a few seconds, the download begins, and then we keep it or save it depending on the file. So boom, go ahead and keep it. There we go, and save it in the server screen if you need to on Mozilla Firefox. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and we have a lot on our desktop. We have the Fabric Installer, we also have the Fabric API, Xero's Mini map, better nether, and inventory HUD plus. Now, if these are on your desktop, they're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little one of those icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, but click on that little one of those icons in the top or bottom left of your screen. Type in downloads right like so. You have this downloads file folder. Click on that, and in here you will find all of the mods and mod installer and all that stuff in here in your mods folder. Go ahead and drag these to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close out of the downloads folder, and I want to say right now, if your files look different than mine, if they don't look like these jar files, they look like something completely different. I'm going to show you how to fix that in one second, but first let's make sure you can even open up Fabric. To do that, go ahead and right click on the Fabric Installer. 
not the Fabric API. Make sure it says Fabric Installer in the title, right click on it, click on Open With, and then click on Java. Now, if you have Java here, go ahead and click OK, see what happens. Now, if for whatever reason you don't have Java here or you click on Java and it doesn't work, what do you do? Well, you go to the description down below, or by the way, if your, your icons look weird, like if your icons don't look like these Java logos, what do you do? Well, in that case, you go to the description down below and you download and install Java, which this isn't the correct link here. The correct link is in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Java here. And this is gonna make sure you get the correct version of Java for Fabric and Minecraft mods. Oddly enough, the version of Java is the same for all Minecraft mods, whether it's Forge, whether it's Fabric, whether it's a Minecraft server, it all uses the same version of Java. And this video and tutorial right here, it walks you through that. Now that should allow you to open up the Fabric installer. However, your icons may still look weird. They may still not look like mine. And in that case, you're going to go ahead and down, download and run the jar fix in the description down below. This is going to take all the .jar files on your computer and link them to Java a little right like so. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on our desktop, again, we have all these mods. We're going to start off with the Fabric install. Right click on it, click on open with, click on Java and click OK. That's going to open up the Fabric installer. After a few seconds, there it is. Now we want to make sure that we select the 1.17.1 version, it's right there it is. And then we want to go ahead and click install in the bottom center. It's going to take it a few seconds and then it will go ahead and install. The only reason this won't install is if you've never played Minecraft 1.17.1 before. If that's the case, go play it on vanilla without any mods or anything like that. Literally, all you have to do is open it to the main menu, close out of it, and then restart this part of the process and you'll be able to install Fabric. Go ahead and click OK. And then we can go ahead and close out of the Fabric installer. And actually, you can even delete the installer from the desktop. You don't need it anymore. Now let's go ahead and get our Fabric mods installed. To do that, you want to go ahead and come up to the top left of my screen, bottom of your screen, that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen, and then go ahead and type in Run. Are you in? You then have this run app here. Go ahead and click on that run app. And then in this run app, you want to type percent app data percent sign. So percent sign app data percent sign percent app data percent exactly like that and hit OK. Then it's going to go ahead and open up our roaming folder. And here you'll find a dot Minecraft folder. Double click on that. And in here you should find a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Well, guess what? Look, I don't even have a mods folder. That's OK. Let's go ahead and right click over here on the left hand side, create a new folder and by left hand side I mean this little sliver in between like this this bar here and these files just right click over here on this left hand side create a new where is it new and then folder and then you want to title this mods mods all lowercase exactly like that and then go ahead and double click on this mods folder then take any mod that you want to install in our case this is going to be the fabric api xero's minimap better nether and inventory hud and drag and drop all of these into the mods folder in the dot minecraft folder right so right here so here in the dot minecraft folder and in our mods folder we have all of the fabric mods we want now we can go ahead and close out of this and you can even delete the mods off your desktop at this point. Like you don't need them anymore. They're in your mods folder. So now we want to go ahead and open up Minecraft. So specifically the Minecraft launcher. And before you hit the play button, we need to make sure you're playing Fabric. So as you can see here, Fabric is already selected. If it's not, go ahead and click on this left hand little arrow right here and then select Fabric, right? Now it should say 1.17.1 Fabric Loader, right? If it does say that, you're good to go. You can click play, click you understand and click play. Now, for those of you though that don't have that, Let's go ahead and click on installations up here at the top. To make it appear, go ahead and click on this little arrow on the right hand side, this modded button. Go ahead and click on that and then you should have fabric and again, click play, click play again, you're good to go. However, for some of you, a very small portion, but some of you, you will have a fabric loader that's here and it won't be the correct version, right? It won't say 1.17.100 or it won't have basically fabric at all, right? There will be no fabric. In that case, what you want to do is go and click on the or this in new installation button right here. In this, you want to go ahead and type in whatever you want. You want to name your folder. In my case, that's going to be play.breakdowncraft.com. You can name your folder whatever you want. I'm naming it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our own incredible 1.17.1 grief protected Minecraft survival server. You should totally go check it out. Now let's go ahead and click on the version drop down box here. And in this drop down box, we want to find release 1.17.1 fabric specifically fabric and then at the end it's going to say dash 1.17.1 i don't like how they do that they put the version number at the end but as you can see there it is it is fabric loader and then at the very end it says dash 1.17.1 go ahead and click on that and then i'm going to change the resolution you don't have to do that but we're making a video i don't want you all to go see once it gets in game and then we want to go ahead and click the green create button again the most important part is that this is fabric loader and then 1.17.1 at the end the version number in the middle may be different click create in the bottom right and now we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile but most importantly it says fabric dash loader under it hover over this click the green play button Confirm it that you understand that you're playing modded Minecraft. It's basically what you're doing there. And then click the green play button. Now Minecraft 1.17.1 is going to open up with Fabric installed. Unfortunately, my computer has a habit for lagging while Minecraft's opening. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut and I'll meet you on the Minecraft main menu. So when opening up Minecraft, we did get this warning and basically said that Xero's minimap is out of date and it asked if we would like to update it. Uh, no, we don't. Uh, actually, it's going to work anyway. So don't show again and it's going to work, I promise. Uh, now, if we look in the bottom left down here, we do see that we have 1.17.1 slash Fabric showing it's working. And let's go ahead and create a new single player world and we're going to title this fabric 
mods, right? So fabric mods 1.17.1. I'm going to turn cheats on because that makes it easier to test stuff. So let's go ahead and do. Oh, oh, I accidentally mistyped there. I'm sorry. 1.17.1 fabric. And then we want to go ahead and turn cheats on. And instead of canceling the world, we want to create a new world. <laughs> and now Minecraft 1.17.1 is going to open up. It's saying it's using experimental world settings. That makes sense because guess what? This is modern Minecraft, so that is perfectly expected and normal. And now we're just going to have to again sit and wait and let this load on up. So we're going to do yet another jump cut. This should be the last one of the video. And I will see you once we're in game to showcase this mods and show you that everything is working. So here we are in game. As you can see, our mini map is loaded and is huge and overwhelming. There are different map settings that you can access. Uh, um, we also have our basically GUI or our inventory GUI right here in the center. And uh, what was the other mod that I added? Hold on. L let me go actually look at this. Better nether, that is right. So we need to go ahead and get to the nether. Luckily, we're in creative and we spawned right next to a portal. I really couldn't have planned that. I promise I didn't plan that one. Um, let's go ahead and get some obsidian, right like so. Obsidian, and then we're going to need a flint and steel. Let's go ahead and patch this nether portal up and head on to the nether because... Uh, because I want to show you the better nether. Boom, 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 and light. Why isn't it lighting? Come on. Really, do these blocks need to be replaced? That's odd. I didn't think that was the case. Now light. I feel like I'm messing something up. Is it not Is it not tall enough? What? What is the problem here? Hold on. I know this is, this, this is very, very awkward. Seems like either this is a mod bug or I am uh, I'm missing something. Let me do a quick jump cut here and check this out. I ended up just uh, leaving this one we found. I made an oversized nether portal here and it seems to work. Um, that was odd. But if we go into the nether, uh, there'll be new biomes here, new everything here. And um, it's, it's kind of crazy, right? I actually think even if we go into creative, we might be able to search some different plants and things of that nature. Um, sadly, I, I'm not too uh, privy as to what is added by the mod. There we go. Better nether. This is added. I was about to say, I don't know. There's so much new stuff in the nether that I actually haven't had the chance to check out. I have no clue is what's what, but it looks like we do have, for example, weeping, weeping vines is from Minecraft, but golden vines are from better nether. So really cool stuff. As you can see, this is a nether mod that makes the nether even better, more colorful, even adds in its own biomes and things. So really, Really, really cool stuff with that. We do have the armor inventory in the center of the screen and our mini map over here that is just massive. Uh, again, there are different commands and things that are not commands, but different controls that will allow you to change different things in the map. There we go. So new waypoint, I believe is going to be, what was that? Was that V or N? I'm just clicking around. Okay, so Y. Y is going to allow us to go ahead and open up and change our mini map settings. Uh, if we go ahead, we can change the size, for example, to something a little bit more manageable. You can also change it into, you know, look north always, not look north always, kind of up to you. You can change the square shape to square, which is what I traditionally use, death points on, off. You can also go in here and manage your waypoints and add in new waypoints. So we can go ahead and do like, you know, for example, near nether spawn. These also work in the overworld, by the way, so near nether spawn, and that's going to show us that this is kind of near the nether spawn. What's really, really cool is if we go over here, we kind of like hide behind some some, some rock and stuff, we'll be able to see that waypoint's still there, right? We can still get back to it. We can also deactivate it, meaning it's still there. We can activate it any time, but it's not always going to show up. But there you have it. That is how you can download and install mods in Minecraft 1.17.1. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Whoa. So yeah, this is one of the new biomes <laughs> added by... Um, by Better Nether, and uh, well, it's a lot actually, but wow, really, really stands out. You can definitely tell this is a custom biome. Even got ceiling mushrooms. Wow. Oh, and that's so like dense and thick you can't even walk through it when you're up like high. Wow. Oh, and you can climb these. That's also really cool actually. So there you have it. That is how you can download and install Better Nether in Minecraft 1.16.1. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.